final two fights of the evening. There he is, the Black Panther, Zamir Catano, aiming to continue the undefeated career. Zamir Catano is coming off of a huge first round submission in his pro debut last May. Catano was initially directed towards a pro basketball career early in life, but finding a passion for punching, he's now dedicated to MMA full time, leaving everything else in the past. Catano's lone loss in his amateur career came in the debut, and it was a doctor stoppage. So, John, one could make the claim he's never truly been beaten. I mean, Nate Diaz would say that, you know, the, doc <laughs> the doctor stopping. Talk about I mean, that 209 mentality. I'm, I'm telling you, that's 209 rules. The doctor stoppage don't count. Uh, but, yeah, you're right. You know, you talk about what an athlete Tamir is, and that's why people are excited about him. As you said, you know, initially pursuing basketball, that just goes to show you, you know, hey, man, he was good enough to be uh, featured in other sports as well, and now he's turned his attention to fighting. And, again, a lot of buzz around here. This is one of the names as we talk to people. Hey, who do we need to keep an eye on? Who do we need to watch for? They said, this is the guy right here. But, as you said, you know, the amateur career is nice, but you got to do it in the pro ranks. Got a, a win first time out, an impressive one at that. Uh, but now, can you keep that going? In his one... One of his larger tests, the final fight of his amateur career, he fought to a majority draw with aforementioned Alexandre Bertolut at UGP 12 in July 2019. So, we'll see. We take to the tail of the same Medellin versus Bogota once again. The Black Panther, 5-0, Luis Rincon, four years the elder. Samir, height and reach advantage. He's going to have those physical attributes. Yep, no question about it. Luis the Laser Rincon, the submission specialist, enters tonight, coming off of a big bounce back performance over Mauricio Aquendo, and is oozing with confidence ahead of this duel with the highly touted Catano. A sports science student outside the cage, Rincon's acute knowledge of the body and expert grappling has led to three career armbar submissions. John, do you think we might see a fourth? Well, he certainly has the ability to do that, and that's what he's going to threaten with, and that's the questions that Zamir is going to be answered tonight. Now, I think Zamir has it his way. He won't be finding himself in that position to have to battle out of it. But anytime you see somebody like that that has a move that they've utilized multiple times to get victories, it just goes to show you how comfortable they are in it. Uh, so you'll certainly want to stay out of that. You know, no matter uh, the positions that you get in, you'll just have to always ensure that, hey, I'm keeping that limb behind, I'm keeping it tucked, you know, and not leaving it for them to take. So uh, a danger spot for Zamir to consider tonight for sure. Luis Rincon. All of his fights in the professional level, no amateur experience. You saw five and two overall. Never been finished. His losses were a split decision to Victor Moreno in November of 2021 and a decision loss to Ricardo Fuentes at SFC 28 in May of 2019. You've got the irresistible force versus the immovable object in this co-main event, John. Yeah, you look at the, the look of focus and uh, just staring intently into the cage, ready to get in there. I like it. We'll see if he can come in here and play spoiler. Look, Rico knows the assignment that he's got tonight. You see the team kind of rallying around there. They understand <laughs> they got challenged. They understand, hey, we're in a co-main event because we're facing a very, very highly touted prospect. But that gives us an opportunity to come in here and play spoiler. That gives us a chance to come in here and say, no, no, no. We're the guy you should have been paying attention to all along. Okay, maybe we didn't have the flashy record. Sorry, we didn't have the time to fight amateur. We went straight pro. We, we had to learn our lessons on learn the fly. Learn on the job, yeah. But, but we've learned them, and now we're here. And, uh, again, a tough assignment for Rincon, but one that he accepted uh, excitedly and, and wants to make a statement tonight. The biggest stage in combat sports in Colombia tonight, our co-main event, Luis Rincon versus Zamir Catano. It's going to be interesting. I mean, the, the, the durability of Rincon versus an athletic specimen in Zamir. High stylistic clash in our co-main. I mean, you got his cornerman just scaling the cage. I like it. <laughs> Tony Santana, third man inside the octagon for our co-main event. The Black Panther, Zamir Catano, aiming to stay undefeated. Highly experienced veteran in front of him in Luis Rincon. Once again, Medellin versus Bogota. Rincon does have that advantage of being the more experienced guy at altitude, cardio management. And again, look at the back of the, the muscular strength of those, mu those muscles. Yeah. <laughs> those, those muscles are muscular. <laughs> no question about it. Good touch of gloves in our co main event. Catano bouncing. Luis Rincon taking the center. 
And again, I mean, just even in the initial engagement, you see the speed that Samir has. Interesting stances. You've got Catano in that southpaw and sort of switching back and forth. And Luis Rincon in the orthodox. Big leg kick right there for the submission specialist. Yeah, and you can see I think Rincon wants to rely on some of those low kicks early, kind of slow down his opponent. Smart, good game plan. Likes the pressure as well. Put him on the back foot, see what... Oh, big combo right there from the Black Panther. Yeah, Catania just so light on his feet, as he said, switching stances, throwing quick strikes, moving. Speed is really on his side. You see a nice little right hand as he slips out of the way. And I think Rick Hone is just going to have to kind of make this a little bit of a brawl, to be honest with you. He's looking for that counter. Catania is seeing when Luis is coming in and tossing strikes, like he said. Got to get dirty with a guy like that. Right hand from Rincon. Catania took it well. Definitely caught his attention. Another right hand, though. And this is why I said you got to just kind of make it a scrap. Now he's driving in, looking for the takedown. Smart. Samir Catania trying to wrap up that neck, potentially threaten the guillotine. Yeah, it has to be aware. There's nothing there right now, but you certainly have to be aware if you're Rincon. Now, no threat. And this is where you negate the physical advantages of the Black Panther. Put him up against the cage. Smaller man working on the inside. Historically, would have the advantage, John. Absolutely. You can't use that speed to his advantage. You can't use all that movement to his advantage when he's pinned up here against the fence. Rakon again in the head position, trying to get it under the chin, just driving his head into his opponent's head. 313 left in round number one of our co-main event. Once again, tonight's fights are brought to you by Burger King and broadcasted by MixedMartialArts.com's The Underground. Big knee right there from Rincon. Yeah, nice work. Catania does very well in that position. Oh. Moves away and throws a quick combination. Slick hands. That speed on display once again. Carrying all of that muscle at high elevation could do some damage to the cardio moving forward, John. No question about it. I mean, I think Rikona is, is being wise and not overexerting himself here as he tries to wade forward and, and again oh. deal with the speed. Throws a high kick out there. Big Superman entry, right hand, stumbles Samir. Luis Rincon, billed as a submission special, specialist, having a lot of success on the feet. Yeah, he's got some power, and he's certainly showing it tonight. So look, I, I, I understand that, you know, Catania is maybe the slicker, faster guy on the feet, but you could pack a big punch in there and land clean, change the whole game. Again, continues to chop that leg as well, smart. Good feints to boot. Luis Rincon giving lots of different looks in our co-main event to the Black Panther, Zamir Catania. 150 remains. Labored spinning kick. Yeah, it's a good tight. attempt. But look at that. But it goes the distance. He's able to shoot this time, get the takedown. Beautiful work there. It changed the range for him. You know, that may have been the, the reason for going out there. I don't care if I land this or not, but it's going to allow me to push forward and get to where I want to go. Whoa! Oh, my goodness. What a slam from Luis Rincon. Now he's got the back, John. That's one of the greatest takedowns you'll ever see. Beautiful, just control, pivot, slam. What an execution of that move. 120 left in round number one. And now you are in the realm of Luis Rincon. Rincon scrambles to the back. Seeking this choke to, to see if he got it under. He feels good with it. He's going for the squeeze. Catano trying to defend well, but that grip is in. Yeah, is that is it! The Black Panther taps in our co-main event. Luis Rincon with the upset of the ages. Unbelievable work there, dealing with the highly touted prospect. But we said, look, Rincon didn't come in here to be anybody's stepping stone. Dealt with the striking well. Had one of the greatest takedowns I've ever seen in my life. And then immediately to the submission, felt good on the squeeze. First First round submission of Rincon's career. His first finish since November of 2019. What a way to remind people who you are. Just the speed of the attack there. You saw Catania on the replay here trying to pull down the arm, but can't do it. Switch to the gable grip, got the squeeze. Gets the submission. Nice work from Rincon. You know, again, Catania at 22 years old, young guy. It's a, it's a stepping stone. It's an academic lesson within this fight. There were a lot of good things he did. The speed, the countering. You know, he just ran into a buzzsaw named Luis Rincon. 
phenomenal work there. And you see he's got the flex. He deserves it. Man. Again, all the attention all week long was on Catano. Hey, man, pay attention to this guy. He's somebody to watch. This is the kid you need to know. And Raccoon didn't buy into any of that. Came out here, was not intimidated in the least. Toe to toe on the feet. Those takedown, my goodness, incredible. And uh, we'll make it official. Damas y caballeros. Y en este combate, el ganador es Duan Rincón. Benedicto, su misión por Bata León. Wow, Luis Rincon, first round submission of a highly touted prospect. Walk me through how you're feeling right now. Duan, su misión en el primer asalto contra alguien que vendía como alguien como mucha promesa. ¿Cómo te sientes en este momento? Bien, gracias a todos. Vengo trabajando duro. Vengo trabajando fuerte. Vengo dando lo mejor de mí. Les digo una cosa. No soy noqueador, pero no les gusta intercambiar conmigo. No soy grappler pero terminó por su misión. Simplemente soy un puto peleador de MMA. ¡Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, Luis Rincón.